Goddamn Chinese want to sell the relief food that we're sending them? Yeah. Yeah, I read about that. These people are starving. They can't do that. They want to sell the food to fund the civil war against the communists. Really? I guess that's okay, then. As long as Artists it's against commies, it's you fine. Your money on weapons, but you still have to have the will to fight. Fortunately, the Reds will win in China. Watch your mouth. You know what you're saying? The people of this country overdo a king. You think the Chinese will balk at an emperor if they are starving? City of Angels Cold Storage, that's a landmark? I've come to terms with there's not much to see in Los Angeles if a fucking refrigeration building <laughs> for storing cold meat and cold storage and shit is a landmark. That's just foolish. A meat factory is a landmark. Phelps is drunk. store you know who's all probably get who's gonna be all smiles rusty's probably all smiles right now it's his fucking favorite place it's like Christmas what can I do for you LAPD Phelps and Galloway we're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers Evelyn she's dead you knew Evelyn Summers mr. Robbins yes I knew Evelyn I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. I'm surprised Rusty can operate right now. He's not on his knees in awe. Oh, good God! It's so beautiful. You got some fine stock here, Mr. Robbins. Yep. You know, you let us take some for the road, this case might get solved a lot quicker. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. She kept a bed here, but I probably shouldn't have let her. An alcoholic in a liquor store, that was never gonna work out, was it? We'll take a look around. Here's the bowling pin. Rawlings Bowling. Rawlings Bowling Alley. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. Rawlings. I know that place, corner of 9th and Grand. That's where I go get a beer Black after work. On Tuesday nights. I'm guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job for quite some time before she was killed. What the hell is this thing? When exactly did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. She worked in legal copyrights for music. Hmm. Probably the person asking her to come home. She wasn't always such a loner. Evelyn was reading Aristotle. Evelyn wasn't stupid. 
The only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. And she was borrowing books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. <laughs> Grosvenor. That's what you got for me, huh, guys? All right. Yep, we gotta talk to you. Contact with the victim. We're Send trying to account your... for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit to pick up some of her things. She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. He's telling the truth. Any idea where the money came from? She didn't mention it, but she did say the booze was a present for a boy. She said they had been fighting and she had to make it up to him. Were you and Evelyn close, Mr. Robbins? How many people will be sad she's gone? I'll be one of the few. Just telling the truth. I got the impression that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. It became difficult for me to have her stay in here. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. And to be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back on. You know a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. Hmm. That I the thing he just did with his eyes gave it away, doubt. We're struggling for leads, Robbins. Did she know McCaffrey? She idolized him. From what I gather, the feeling was far from mutual. He seems to peddle a revolutionary stance, fixing the ills of society. You could see how it would appeal to down and outs like Evelyn. Thanks for your help, Mr. Robbins. No problem. Hey, I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. You think I could get in touch with Evelyn's mother? Put in a call to the watch commander at Central Station, Mr. Robbins. He'll be trying to reach the next of kin. Thanks. Get the guy, huh? Evelyn never hurt anybody. Rusty comes out with two crates full of booze. Tries to shove them in the car. I need it, man. Shut up. I've yet to use any of these inspiration points or whatever shit. Intuition points. Uh, let's go to the bar. I don't want to just leave that location too long because it seems like if you leave him for too long, you don't get all the stuff. I do what I want. All right, we'll go do this one. I heard gun and man with gun, so now I'm gonna have to shoot someone. This is good. No, but my partner is. He's got enough alcohol in his breath to get me drunk with vapors alone. That will explain why I can't drive for shit.
Dead end, not on my watch. God, this is so far away. Why is it so friggin' far away? Oh, come on. I'm very impatient. This was hella far, man. Holy shit. KDPO to all units. Citizen reports man with a gun. Union and Rockwood Street. Union and Rockwood Street. Unit to handle code 2. Identify. God damn it! I said cough it up! I'm not gonna say it again. Say Fukaya! Do my yeah! That's it, old man. I've had enough of your gibberish. Damn, he just shot some Asian dude for no reason. Give it up, LAPD! Your sidewalk etiquette now. Hurry, you can still catch him. Oh, I'll catch this fat fuck. <laughs> Who's running like an Olympic sprinter right now? Don't push him. Look at this 90 pound fucking behemoth. You get him. Wow, Phelps. Could you be any more of an old ass man right there? Holy shit, Phelps is getting old. Oh, it's gonna be a shootout now. Come on out, bitch. That was deadly. That was definitely deadly force. <laughs> he takes cover right in front of me. Holy shit. Doesn't get much easier than that. Hello, Carruthers. Enjoy your corpse. I like how Carruthers had to come pick up the body. 15 XP for shooting the fat guy in the back of the head. Totally worth it. I'm gonna take someone's advice and have my partner drive this time. You're behind the wheel. That was easier. Drink, fellas. Phelps Galloway, homicide. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Mensch. Evelyn Summers? What is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? Uh, a bunch of these guys. Ask around. A bunch of these rat bastards. Ask around. I see you're going to be working hard again, huh, Rusty? This dude's reading a book. Name? It must be Grover. Grover McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, Detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers, and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Okay. I see your point. 
How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. I like his picture. <laughs> what a snarky motherfucker. <laughs> I like his picture. Record, Mr. McCaffrey. Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. Uh-huh. You want to save me some time, or do you want me to look up your file? Industrial disputes. Strikes. Workers' rights. That kind of thing. A regular fifth columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. They should arrest him for wearing that goofy-ass undershirt or scarf or whatever the hell he's wearing. Jesus. You say you barely knew Evelyn? Look at that yes, thing. That is correct. He's lying because lying, he gave McCaffrey. the bitch a book. You looked down your nose at Evelyn, but you knew her, and you have some idea of what happened. I hope you're holding aces. I'm telling you again, I barely knew the woman. Where's that book? Bam. Why would you lend her your book on metaphysics if you only knew her in passing? It was more than that. Renaissance man like yourself lending his books to his acolytes. She hounded me about that goddamn book, and then she lifts it from my apartment and lies to my face that she didn't take it, as if she could even comprehend any of it. I saw her go into a hotel with Tiernan last night. They had booze in a paper bag. He's your man. Thank you for the information, Mr. McCaffrey. I guess that's it. A message from Captain Donnelly, return to Central, go to. Levin King, en route. Let's not keep the man waiting, Phelps. You got it. Captain's becoming a real pain in the ass. He always wants me over there. What the fuck was this? Main Street Terminal. Okay. Pardon my French, I've just been, I don't know, terrible. Usually I don't cuss this much, but this game's got me in like a 1940s mood. I'm dealing with these criminals all the time. And these people that just constantly lie to you. What do they have the game? From constantly lying. Whatevs. I'm not that worried about it. Captain is downstairs with Ray Finker and her others. Probably another letter from the Black Say Dahlia murder. in there and find the goddamn evidence. It's him. A cop from the newspapers. Well, you don't see that every day. I saved the whole year for that car. What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases, which I don't want aired outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Evelyn Summers, cartel classic Carmine. 
Each woman, same brand, same color. Teresa Tarleson didn't have a lipstick message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick, but she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp stick. What did it say? You sure you want to know, Ray? As far as we can be sure, it said cunt BD. That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? Cunt is all about access, Phillips. You're married, so yours is mortgaged. Some of us like to pay by installments. This guy doesn't like to pay at all. Why are you so angry, Mal? Because I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Captain, we have good leads in the Summers case. But it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. And to follow up on Evelyn Summers, I want daily reports. One of his assistants was a buddy with the guy that was kiss kissing the corpse. <laughs> he hired a pet, a uh, friggin' necrophiliac. Order. Back to the Summers case. Get an address from the captain. You will blow the bar. I'll meet you outside. I don't care. I don't go in for letting gangsters off scot free. Is there anything to do? Parker, I don't know who you are. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address for a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Governor McCaffrey, apartment 6, 126 Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Thanks. Okay, so we got McCaffrey's address. I want to make 